Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Shipwrecked 64. Now, in this video, guys, we're going back to layer 3 of the game, and we're going to try and access layer 4. If you remember, in the previous videos, we got kind of stuck on layer 3 because we couldn't solve some of the puzzles down there, and we haven't fully explored it. So this is going to be where we're diving deeper into the game within the game, and exploring the real horror elements, and hopefully making our way to the end of the game. So sit back, relax, and let's dive straight in and continue our playthrough of Shipwrecked 64. Alright, here we go guys, we're back in the game, and uh, we have a continue, so we're just going to head straight back to continue, and continue where we left off. And I believe I've actually saved it. Yeah, we've saved it, here we go, in the entranceway of layer 3. So we're about to head into layer 3 here. Down this long corridor. We've been here before, of course, if you haven't checked out previous episodes, just check those out. Oh, wait, we've got a wolf. Follow the wolf. You can't get away from us, mister. Maybe he can. I feel like he has probably got away. None of this is making any sense. I want to go back to the island. I want to go back home. Is that not why you're playing? Nope. Look. We can do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I clear? Good. Crystal clear. All right, let's go. Into the abyss. We've got to get our candle. Oh, good. Some light. There we go. All right. Can I get through the walls or anything? No. Oh, door. I don't think we've been through this door before. I think this is a different door. Yeah, look. Guys, this is a new area. We've got barrels everywhere. Are they for hiding? Yep. Okay, so barrels for hiding. Does that mean enemies are roaming? That means I'm saving. <laughs> saving the game right here, that's for sure. I don't like how many barrels are, like, knocking about here. We've got a recording. The label says... And it's got some beaver scratch there. Okay, I'm not going to translate that right now. Hearts and souls into it. But is that even enough? His stairs must be set... Astronomically high. Plus, after the, you know, the thing I found, I just gotta be honest. I feel so much less safe around that man. I wonder who they're talking about. Feels so much more less safe around that man. Hmm. Interesting. That's one of the developers, I assume. What's this? We got colors flashing on a monitor screen, and we've got four spaces. This has gotta be a code, guys. A color coordinated code. I am remembering, I've got some notes I took, the pictures in the art gallery, the pictures in the art gallery had like numbers and colours, so maybe it's to do with that, I'm not sure. Let's just keep going for now. Who are you? Who are you writing these messages for me? Right guys, we've got a, a room here with a computer, we've got different buttons, I'll press this big red button if I can get to it. Oh, guys, we've got a new YouTube video. It's called Magma. Wait a second. It's calling out those numbers again, guys. This is going to be the same as the puzzle from earlier, I think. From, like, previous video we did. If you remember, we had to count R, X, B, and C, how many times they appeared in sequence. I think that's what this um, is giving us. It's giving us a code for R, X, B, C again. So I'll count those up and we should have the code we need. Oh, we got a recording. The label says we've got Beaver Scratch. I think Beaver Scratch is translated by, like, swapping the letters either side, okay. but I'm not going to do that okay, right now. Beige Park and Hull are all complete. Even got all of it here. Just need to set up our teleport once we have the mini games completed. Oh, it's March, by the way. It's 96. Sorry, I'm just kind of excited. Why am I sorry for that? Today's a good day. Um. Anyways, everything is going smoothly, I think. Liz needs to get back to me with Walter's Mall, plus his head texture, but it's smooth sailing, I guess you could say. I think I've patched the noble bugs, too. Even the one Harry found in the hole. 
where you get soft locked behind the bed. How did he even do that? That's... Uh, I'm planning to talk to Mark Lair. I can't wait to show him the progress. I think it's gonna go great. We'll... we'll have to see, though. That's all. Signing off for tonight. Okay. What do you guys make of that recording? I'm not gonna analyze it too much right now. I'm gonna keep exploring. I'm kind of on edge. Got a keypad code here. I don't think I've got a code for this one yet, right? I don't know what that's in relation to. I gotta leave that for now. I think this one is to do with the art gallery and the colors because the colors represent numbers in this game. It's gonna be eight, three, eight, nine going by my notes and it worked, yes. Okay, this is good. This is good. We have now got access to this area. Ooh, big computer, a red button. Let's press it. Guys, we've got a new YouTube video. Oh, it's another one of these. Last time we had the middle section. Now we've got the left hand side. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll stick these together in the video as you watch it. And then we can actually see, like, yeah, look. We can see, like, Nathan Stewart on this one this time. Last time we had Gary Wilson. So when I put these together, you should be able to see, um, like, the information that's shown. Okay, guys, I'm just recording this after I recorded my Let's Play. <laughs> Sorry if this commentary's a bit all over the place. But I wanted to be able to read to you what I can see on my edit while I'm while I'm doing it. So I've put the two screens together. It says causes of death. We're not going to have the full picture yet. We're still missing one panel. But we have two or three panels now. So we should be able to read most of this. And uh, kind of see what's going on here. I hate that image. So that's Olivia Finch, right? Yeah, Olivia Finch was found at the bottom of a lake outside the cabins at Broadside Beach's staff quarters. Then located, she appeared to be waterlogged. It looked to be something out of a horror movie. He said, I can't read that. It's too quick. Olivia's died at the cabin by the lake where she was found or something like that. Or she's dragged out of the cabin by the lake. I couldn't read that quick enough. You guys could probably read that. You can pause the video. So now we've got the next one. Here we go. Gary Wilson was found in Broadside Beach Staff Kitchen. Blood surrounding his face. He was seen with his head in the deep fat fryer with his body slouched over the edge. His back as well seemingly was broken in many different areas. So he became Giovanni Goose after his death. I think that's part of the Starling program. So who's this guy? Oh, we still can't read that one. That's still cut off the screen. I'll probably skip ahead, guys, because you're not going to be able to see any of this because this is still uh, the panel we're missing on the, on the far left. And then this says Starling conversion, because I remember the Starling conversion technique from the previous release of this game. Now we can't read all of this yet, we're still missing part of it, so I'm not going to try. But if you guys want to have a look at this text that you can see on screen now, you know, you can uh, decipher as much as you can until I find the final panel. But I did want to include this in the video because it's pretty interesting uh, for those who are interested in the lore. I'll try and get the rest of it in another video. Oh, and we've got pictures. Olivia, Giovanni, and Walter Warris. Okay. So there we go, guys. All right, let's keep going. I'll try and put that video together in the edit, guys. So I think it's part of the same panel. We've hit the button there. What's that actually done, though? We've got gate control here. But that's locked. Oh, so the green buttons light the computers up. Yeah. Just like before. Alright, let's leave. We need to find one more button, so we're missing that final code. I need to work out what... Wait, what's that? What the heck is that sound? I hope that doesn't mean an enemy spawned. Okay, guys, so I think I've worked out what the code is that we're missing. The um, YouTube video linked to a volcano erupting, and it was called Mount Pinatubo. And that erupted in 1991. And it works! Yes. 
I thought it might be that. So there we go. Yeah, you just look at that volcano, you find out it erupted in 1991. That is the code. Again, it's obscure. This has taken me a while to figure out. Gate control is open. Yeah, let's go through. Let's go through. There's a red button. I guess we press it. I'm kind of scared. Oh. Wait. Wait, is this the room we... St Why are we back here? We've been respawned. What the heck? It's still not open. Huh? Okay, guys, so this door's locked. Um, and we've been brought back here. So I think what we need to do is, like, go back into the... Uh, third layer. Well, I guess we're in the third layer, but, you know, go back into that hub area and try and unlock the other doors and solve the puzzles there. So let's go back in and uh, go into some other doors and see if we can find a way to open that gate over there. Because it seems like that's the objective, right? Maybe that leads to layer four or something, I don't know. This door's not locked. This is the next one we've got to do then, I guess. We're in this uh, blue area. Oh, we have a sewer. Okay. Yeah, this is where we were before, and we had that music puzzle, if you remember. We've got to turn on all the green buttons again. What was in here? Oh, we have a code. We need the code for this. I remember now, and there was a recording here, which we've already listened to. Um, we need to get to that button somehow. Okay, let's go back this way, because I don't think we can do anything more here. We've got to jump across to this. And we've got a code here. And when we've got this recording. So the code is EFG9. This is another music puzzle. I remember this is what I was stuck on. So we've got to decrypt this music puzzle next. So that song is known as Ode to Joy, okay? Ode to Joy. Guys, I've actually been speaking with uh, another YouTuber, Pixelicious, and she's been telling me, because she's been playing this as well at the same time, we've been talking over Discord, and she's told me that, like, there is a way to decrypt these music codes by basically counting how many notes appear in the song. So it says EFG, and then, I don't know if that's a 9 or another G, but we've got to count how many times those notes appear in the song. Okay, guys, I think it's 9449. Let's try that. Hey, okay, that works. Good. So, yeah, massive shout out to Pixelicious who helped me with that puzzle. Um, because she can actually read sheet music. So, yeah, thank you very much. I don't know if this has opened up up here as well. I just want to check. No, the gate control is still locked here. We've got one of three on this computer, so we need to find two more green buttons to activate that computer. So, let's go down here next. Um, I don't know what we're going to find. Oh my god, that's a bit creepy. There's a button. I guess we just press a button, right? Let me go and check the computer. I'll see if this has activated another button on my computer now. Okay, so the computer now says two of three, so we need to highlight one more button to get access to that gate control, and then we've done this area. We did have one keypad out here, didn't we? Oh my god. Just fell into the water. We're okay, though. So, we need to figure out, like, what the code through here will be. I'm looking at this picture, and it's from the Olive Otter level. And, um, I've been looking at my Steam page for, like, any kind of clues. And I noticed one of the achievements is really weird. I'll show it on screen now. It's basically an achievement that's called 4742, and we got it when we completed the Olive stage. So I'm wondering if this is a hint saying, like, that the code might be 4742. Let's see. If this works, this is so obscure. I've been stuck here for ages. Oh my god, literally that's it. How am I meant to know that, man? That took me ages. All right. So I think we should have all the computers turned on now. We should have access to the gate. So let's go. Let's see if we've got access. Let me in. Yes, we have access. Gate control. Okay, hit the button. 
And we're back. Oh, it's opened. This time it's opened, guys. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to save. Always save. I f have a feeling we're going to meet enemies soon, probably. Because they talked about that in the notes, didn't they? That enemies being down here. I'm kind of scared. Oh my god. This is creepy, what the heck? Alright, I'm saving. We're in like an old mansion or something. We've already got a code on a keypad. Brilliant. What's this say? It's a note from Cogware. It's got a 10 there. Fiction. It's all rooted in fiction. It's a miraculous recovery that boy had. Near-death experience, yet he's back in the park. It was a cover story. Huh. So someone nearly died and then he's back in the park. Interesting. We've got some crystals here. It did talk about needing to collect crystals. It's a note from Cogware, note 13. There is footage of the murders. Oh, sinister. Let's listen to this. The label says workstation code. Ooh. Let's listen to this, guys. I'll get my notepad ready. Hello, future Stumbler. It's me, past Stumbler. <laughs> I, uh, I have the code. Going forward, if you ever need to turn on the workstations, the code What's that? is 1997. 1997? Here, what all went wrong. <laughs> all right, that's all. Toodles. You look great today, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I'm hiding. Guys, I can hear something. What the heck is that? Oh my god. It's Giovanni Goose. He's actually down here. We got the code. It's 1997. He doesn't know we're here, right? I hope he doesn't know we're here. That's horrible. Okay, the horror elements have come into play, guys, for sure. <laughs> Look at that thing. Alright, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Holy moly. Oh my god. What the hell? What? We just got an achievement. It said, boo, did I catch you off guard? You're the bane of my existence, friend. Like, really? Really? You got us thrown in a cell? What is wrong with you? Look, we've got two options. Either we use a respawn button and go home, or you can find a way to break us out. I'm not using my buck teeth to chew through the bars, so... Uh, don't ask about that. Oh man, that was scary. I don't know why we got game over. Got another note from Cogware. It's a note from Cogware, note 15. I guess I'm writing this more for, I don't know, relief, peace of mind? Hard to say, really. All I know is, this is gonna stick with me. The heck? Bro. What the heck? All right, I don't like this, guys. I remember the code that um, we were given by Stumbler. It was 7418, so let's put that in. 7418. Alright, we're out. Let it be known, friend. I hate you, genuinely. Remember when I asked you to take me home? Yeah, that. Whatever happened to that? Why am I even calling you that? You're not my friend. I don't even know you. Just keep going. I don't care anymore. Okay, yeah. Let me go, then. What the heck is this place, bro? We've got a... The Warus is there. What the heck, man? He's coming. Run. Run. So that's the guy that got us last time, the Warus. Oh my god, he can see us. Are you kidding me? Holy crap, guys. This is horrible. I can't get out. I got caught again. Are you kidding me? This is really hard. Um. Okay. I have no idea how we're going to get out of this place. 
All right, I'm pressing the button. We got, oh, guys, we've got a video. Let me just go and hide, and then I'll, um, I'll show you this video. Okay, so it's a map of the area, I think. Maybe? The plaza. This is so weird. Is it showing us where to go? Halfway one. Sky sim room, cell, storage. Okay, so this is where we are in the cell. The gallery. Man, what is happening? Halfway to. What the heck? Man, I'm confused. Like, it's jumping around all over the place. Central building, service hall, exit. Okay, so the exit's up there. Oh my god, how am I going to find all this? I have no idea how I'm going to navigate this. Okay. Um, guys, I'll try my best, I guess. Alright guys, I'm going to give it a go, but I honestly don't know where to go. Are you kidding me? We've already got an enemy on our tail? I think it said to go up here, but that door's locked. We did have the code 1997, should I try that here? That does not work there. We got another note. It's a note from Cogware, note 12. The fact these images are photocopied, to me at least, means that people shared images of dead people. Oh, and you want to know what else? Not really. Not really. Not really, mate. They're trying to talk to us. I don't like this. Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out. Can I access this? I can't access that, guys. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a gold computer. There's a, a tape play here. The label says, I don't even want to read it, just I play it. I decided that for a good chunk of the fourth layer of skin to the game, I wanted to add a bit of my own flair. So I migrated the files from our convention demo into the game. When people find it, you'll be like they're seeing our history. Seeing what was corrupted by corporate suit and tied <laughs> fuck with <laughs> Mark <laughs> Okay. Some lore. I'm a bit too scared to check that out right now. We can't access the golden computers. <laughs> it's a note from Cogware 1. I was at the offices last night. I had brought a drive with me. It contained our presentation for Broadside. I didn't grab that drive on the way out. Okay. No! Nope. I think we've got guys. Man, this is difficult. The jump scares are coming thick and fast in this episode. I'm almost desensitized to them now. I'm trying to get the lore for you guys as well as exploring. There's another note from Cogware. It gets much worse, though. On that drive, photos of bodies, four in total. Very heavy blacks and whites. This wasn't the original image, it was a copy. Alright. Do not care right now. Okay, do not care right now. Another note. Note from Cogware 14. I want more than anything to say what I found. Yet, I can't. It would ruin us. These guys are our only paying clients in years. Hate this. Got even got swearing in the game now. <laughs> it's getting darker, man. Oh. Code is D-E-C-D. -E what? Is that just for 1997 one? Nope. No, it is not. Guys, I don't know whether the recorder is with the music on it. Wait, is he does he know we're here? Guys, I'm hiding, but I, I feel like he's going to find us. Please don't find us. Alright, this is creepy. At least we can get a good look at him, right? 
Oh my god, look, Giovanni Goose. He's jumping down, he's flying, what the heck? Oh my god, alright, he can actually fly down a little bit. What's this? The label says log two. I just looked at the numbers. Tire brands been going down the drain. The stocks, I've never <laughs> seen stocks get this fucking low. And we're still bringing people on. We're still expanding. At this point, what the fuck's a layoff gonna do? It'll sink us further into the shit! Okay, um, you know, you know the, 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 the best option. I, I think the best option we've got, I, I've been... Uh, it's been going in my head for like the past five fucking hours. No, the best option we got is to cut the game student we've hired. Okay, you know, we've been basically dumping money into their pockets, and, and, and I, I don't know what exactly they're making. I haven't heard from them in months. Okay, here, here's what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna schedule a meeting with them, okay? And if they don't have exactly, exactly what they've promised, we cut them off. We save our asses in the long run, it'd probably give us a fighting chance. It's... I, you know what? I just realized I'm throwing the exact same amount of money I'm paying for Harley's medical bills into this fucking game studio! Okay, so it seems like he was the one with the sick son, and um, they were running out of budget and they were paying this game studio, but the game studio wasn't providing like updated builds and stuff on the game, so they decided to pull the plug on it maybe? Uh, let me keep going. Oh my god. We've got Olive nearby. Don't know where she is. This is so creepy, what the heck? Alright, there's a recording down here, let me check this. <laughs> Label says code is... Oh! S-O-B-T. Maximize that the length of a carrot divided by its diameter was always an integer. Frank, Frank believed that the sun was a giant carrot seen from one end. Attempting to explain his theories to rabbits was hopeless. Rabbits are too stupid. And rabbits make no sound when they speak. He says the length dia uh, divided by the diameter. Okay guys, so on the Cogware Games uh, YouTube, there's actually a video which is the same as the recording. And the recording is titled SOBT. So let's try like counting the number of times um, words with S, O, B, or T appear because that's one of the other puzzles we did in a previous video was very similar to this. So we've got one for S so far. We've got two for T there. Another one for S. In fact, two for S. One for O there. Um, have we got any T's? Yeah, we've got two more T's. I hope this is right. <laughs> this is kind of obscure. There's another one for T there. Another one for T. Another one for T. There's another one for T and another one for S. There's another one for S. Another one for T. So is that six, two, two, nine? Yes, okay. So that was... That's the right answer that we were doing before, uh, decrypting the how many times the letters appear in that video. Ooh. We got a four. Got a six. Is that it? Just a four and a six? What does that mean? This area is insane. You found a secret. Check the menu later. Okay, cool. What's this mean? The label says something too. I don't know what that means. That's beaver scratch, I think. Hello. Liz here again. Wanted to keep track of where we are right now. The other day, Mark took myself and the rest of our team out for coffee. It was pretty nice, but it was also somewhat unnerving. It was probably the first time through this whole adventure that the reality of my situation sunk in for me. Like, that's the CEO of Broadside Animation Studios. A massive animation titan in the industry is just here, waiting for our team to help it. That's genuinely such a crazy thought. 
But if he enjoys our game, that's going to be life-changing. I... It's just a lot, honestly. But it's okay. I think we'll all be enjoying our time on Easy Street once we've shown Mark the game. Anyways, that's all. Toodles. So she had faith in the game, Liz did. I don't know what this means. Four green. Four and six. Okay. We got a note from Cogwa here. Uh, it says, before Studio Grounds, they owned an entire island. And on that island, at the very least, there were three deaths. Three deaths and no news coverage. Why? Yeah, so that's uh, Olivia, Giovanni, and... can't remember the other guy's name. What's this? It's a printed out email. Hey Liz, I saw your crystal video. It's cool to see those in action. Those last four notes are... Kind of nostalgic to me. Huh. So we need to find the crystal video maybe. What the heck? It's a note from Cogware, note 5. Controversies on bulletin were silenced. Any bad blood the company had silently fizzled out. This folder contained documents of these lies. Created only to keep their stories straight. What? Oh. No! Are we okay? I'm hiding! Oh my god! She's gone, that's uh, Olive Otter. I don't know if we've seen her before, like, walking up to us. Alright guys, I found a video uh, about the crystals. Let's see if we can um, watch this and glean anything from it. That was Mary Had a Little Lamb. Credits Elizabeth Baker 1996. Okay guys, so I just got that video. Um, and it played Mary Had a Little Lamb. So I think that's what we need for the, um, the bit upstairs. So going by the sheet music, the code would be 5525. So let's try that. It worked. Okay, we're in. We've got a, a red button. Wait, what? 956. Turn on all workstations. Oh my god, we've got to turn the workstations on now. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um. We've got to make haste, guys. I don't know what it means. Turn on the workstations of computers with all the keypads? I guess so. I don't know. Let's try the code 1997. That was the workstation code, right? That works. Okay, good. So we know what we're doing now, we just gotta find 20 computers. That seems like a lot. That's another. That's two guys, two computers. Here's another. Okay. That's three. <laughs> Only another 17 to go. <laughs> and our time limit is going down fast. There's one here. That's another. Okay, let's keep going. There's hiding places here if we need them, but I want a computer. And we got one. Sweet! This place is so, like... A labyrinth, but it's hard to remember where you have and haven't been. I'll go this way. This one's new, right? We got it. We got it. We got it. Keep going. Pick up the pace, Mike. Go. Okay. Is this one? This is one. Oh my god, I almost missed it. I don't know how many we've got now. Have we done this area? No.
I'm turning the computers on as quick as I can. That's another. What about down here? That comes back up this way. Uh, have we been down here? I'm going to save the game. There's the exit. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Oh. We got it. Let's keep going. We're not stopping to find out whatever that is behind us, that's for sure. Done. 436 though. Ooh, we're gonna run out. What the heck? Where's he coming from? There's one up here, but I can't access it. Ah! Oh, man, we needed that computer. We're gonna be behind now. I'm saving. I'm saving. I'm going straight back out. Let's go. My hope is that if I quit the game after it resets, I can maybe come back to this part and cheese it a little bit. Is this one we've done? No, it's not. Okay. In a way, that worked out. We just got to remember there's one at the top. Somehow, we got to get to that. There's one here. We need six more, and we know that there's another one at the top that I've missed, but because I got jump scared. Yeah, we failed. Oh my god, that is hard. You have to do 20 computers. Oh goodness. All right. I think I need to maybe figure out how to open the door down here. Okay, so this door, it said to use the last four notes, so that'll be three, eight, three, nine. So let's see if that works. It did! Awesome, we're in! It's a note from Cogware. It goes beyond public issues, though. People have died at the parks. And you think it's bad now, get this. Oh, and it continues. Yeah, we're reading these notes in a jumbled order, we'd have to put more together. Oh! This is new. Wait, will this let us escape? Oh no, this is just where more computers are. Screw you, I'm not going that way. I'll go this way. So that's why we um, we couldn't complete the minigame because there's like more computers here. Did you miss me? What the heck? There's another note. Another note from Cogware, note 7. A little girl was crushed in the squirrel cruise. Quite literally. Head caught between the track and the boat. I saw the pictures. It's as bad as you think. Oh my god, it is as bad as I think. I'm hiding, guys. I hope she doesn't know where we are. There's another computer there, by the way. I hate this area so much. I'm determined to complete it in the video, though. Okay, so this is another computer here. I think we can do this on the next run, but I'm not going to keep showing you like me activating all the computers, guys. I'll just try my best to do a good run. I just want to explore down here first, though. There's one there, yeah, so there's actually three computers in this area. That's why we couldn't do it last time. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back, save the game, and we're going to have another attempt, okay? Alright, guys, let's try this again, then. So we've got just under 10 minutes to do this. Let's do it. I need to be methodical this time. I need to kind of try and stick to one area. That code's wrong. What? That code doesn't work there. We need a different code for that. Oh my god, we need a different code for this. Oh, I think it's color-coded, guys. Wait, I know the colors, though. Okay, I think it's 4639. There we go, we got it. We're now into this room. What's this got in it? Anything interesting? No? Is there nothing in here? What the heck? Guys, I don't understand. It says it's 7 o'clock. We're gonna need another code, guys. I don't even think I unlocked everything, judging by this. This is insane. I 
Okay. Oh, I failed. I'm gonna do it again. Alright guys, I failed again. I'll try again. Again, I won't show. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Bro, that ain't cool. I was trying to do my commentary. Okay guys, I think I've got two more to get and I think I've got about a minute and a half, two minutes to do it. So hopefully this will be the run. I've been literally trying for like an hour and a half to do this. So I'm really hoping this actually works. We should have one more to go and it should be through here. So I'm just going to book it all the way to the end. If we have to find the exit as well though, I might not make it and I'll be like really sad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 1997. Done. Hey! It worked! Friend, can we stop for a second? Just need to relax. Me too. That was, guys, that section in total, like, I actually think it's taken me about two hours to do that, thinking about it, because I'm on my second recording now. And it was so RNG based, and you had to really learn the map to remember where all the computers were. It was a nightmare. So I need to relax right now, because <laughs> I'm kind of stressed. We can check out the door when you're ready. Okay. Um, I mean, this room's kind of peaceful, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna just check out the door, let's go. Oh! No, what the heck, why is he Giovanni appearing right there straight away? Run! So I'm guessing we have to like find the exit with all these things chasing us just hide for now right surely he doesn't know where we are no he's going go away Giovanni no one likes you this music is weird we've got to remember where the exit was if we get caught and we have to restart the entire thing I'm gonna be triggered no, what the heck? See guys, this is what I mean, it's cheap. Like, you get out a barrel and you just get spotted straight away. Like, how am I meant to do this? Because I don't know where the enemies are. We don't have vision so we can see them through the walls or anything, I don't think. I can still hear her. Just gotta go, haven't I? That door's still locked. Oh my god, she's near. She's near us, guys. I don't know where I can hide now. This is so difficult, honestly. No! Oh my god. If we have to do all that again, screw it. I'm not doing it. If we, if we have to do everything again that we just did, I'm quitting. I swear, I probably won't even come back to it because that was insane. I think, I don't think we do guys, I think it's, it's checkpointed us. So that's good. Is this, no the exit's not down this way. I don't remember where the exit was. It was north, but I don't know where that is. Save. Here's the exit, but it's still locked. So what have we got to do? Oh, I need to try and remember. I think we had some instructions. Let me see if I can bring them up. Okay, guys, so I think we're on task two now. And I think our objective now is to find batteries. It says find free batteries and drop them off next to a computer. So, I think we need to search for batteries, maybe? That's my the only thing I can think of. That's the instruction. Holy moly, we got caught again. Yes, here's the battery. Okay, so we've got it. Now we need to take it down to the computer in the basement. I can't remember where the basement was. I'm gonna put it there, and I'm gonna try and find the one in the office. I swear, if they've hidden it all the way down at the bottom of the office, I'm not gonna be happy. They have as well, of course they have. Why would they make our life easy, right? Of course they've hidden it all the way at the end of the tunnel. So I've got to walk past all the enemies now. 
Now there's one really close, guys. God damn. Okay, run. Run from Giovanni Goose. He doesn't know we're here, right? Nope, they're all roaming at once, man. This is insane. Look, you can see the Warus down there, Walter Warus. I've got Olive Otter on screen now. Where is she? Is she, like, lurking as well? Screw this. At least they despawn after a while. If they didn't despawn, I'd be absolutely up a creek without a paddle, let's say. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we are going to deposit this sucker here as well. Right, two batteries there. We remember that. Now we need to get the one on the rooftops. Now, I have no idea which rooftop they mean. I've just got to search all of them, I guess. Oh, it's here. Okay, that was good. Go, 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 go. Go. It's okay. Just keep going. All right, this is where we need to deposit them, guys, in the basement. Look. We put them in here. No, Giovanni, leave me alone. Oh, my God, he's down here. He's down here. No! Oh my god, does it reset our progress every time? If this resets our progress, guys, I'm just literally going to cut to when I complete it, because I'm not going to show you all this every time. You've seen where the batteries are now. Let's see if they're where we left them. I think we left them all the way around here. Oh, they're still where we left them. Thank goodness. You know what? I respect the game for at least doing that, yeah? I think we can all agree... That is a fair way to do it. Of course, we've got an enemy right behind us now. Right, here we go, guys. I found the downstairs area. Battery two of three. We need one more. I'm saving it. I don't know if the save does anything in this area. That's the exit. Okay, so we remember the exit is there. We're walking straight away from the exit. Yes, we're, we're close to the exit. Okay, I can get behind this. Done. We did it! Oh, what's it downloading? What's this? Oh god. The horrific death images. So these are the secret files I were talking about. Olivia, Gary, Nathan. They're the victims, obviously, them. Oh! We're back in this room! I think the computer's done. It's put some kind of file somewhere. Look around and then we can go to the gate. Okay. Not in this room, right? He means look around outside the room. Then we go to the gate. Now, are we going to have enemies patrolling? Okay, guys, I found it. Let's press the red button. Oh, we've got something. It says click me. So, guys, I want to hide and then I'll do it. Okay, guys, so this is the website. It says, hello, friends. It appears you have found something important. Now, if you want to see this very, very important thing, all you got to do is click me. Warm regards, EB Cogware. So let's click here. Hopefully this isn't uh, some kind of virus. Oh, we've downloaded files. Okay, guys, so we've got three sets of files here, as you can see. Gary, Nathan, and Olivia. Oh, my God, there's loads of stuff in here. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is check this out separately in a separate uh, part of the video, because I think I want to get out of this area. So let's complete this area. Now we've got the files. Just got to remember how to get out of here now. No, Olivia's here. Screw this, I'm going. I'm running out the exit. Bye. See you later. Whoa. It's Keanu Reeves. What is this place? Oh, yeah, what is this place? Is this layer four? They said layer four was like a paradise. I don't know if this looks like a paradise, though. It looks like another debug room. It says Cogware Games there. It's a note from Cogware. To start, here is our navigation zone. This is a showcase of our new AI pathing systems. Check it out and watch them go. I bet they're having fun. Yeah, I bet they're not. 
I've been trapped in this game. Hi, I'm the AI navigation agent. I've been tasked to wander around here. Get me out of here. Yeah, he doesn't like this. So I guess we just head on. Oh my god, we've got loads of chests here and stuff. What's this note say? It's a note from Cogware. Skyboxes aren't just for walls though. They can be applied to any object. For instance, view the water shapes. Once again, not real water, just a skybox. This is like the dev commentary pretty much. <laughs> We've got a door there. It's a note from Cogware. Don't worry, you don't gotta go down there. That's just for show. The next stop on our tour is behind you. Go right ahead. I want to go all the way to the end, even though I've been told not to. This, probably this note probably just says, Oh, uh, you didn't have to do all that, you idiot. But let's see. Congratulations, you reached the end. We weren't lying when we said, there's nothing here. You've got trust issues, pal. That's okay, feel free to go back. I wonder if like any of these chests have like secrets in them though, right? I bet at least one must. I'm gonna open them all, guys. I won't show all this in the video though. But if I find anything, you know, I'll let you know. All right, guys, so far I'm halfway done and um, haven't found, oh, we found a secret. Okay, just as I spoke. Check the menu later to see it. See, I thought there would be something hidden here. I'm guessing that's probably all there is though, right? Like there's probably just one secret dead in the middle. All right, there wasn't any more, but there was one secret at least and we got it, so let's go. Okay, where are we now? It's a note from Cogware and it says, Here is a wonderful showcasing of our fog. Not only can you use this to mask cold objects, but you can smell something being massive. A body of water, for instance. Oh yeah. What the heck is happening? This is a demonstration of our lighting system. These four controllers signs will protect light. Push the button to shut off the ambient light. Watch the effects lighting has on the room. Yeah, so I don't know that this has actually anything like to do with anything. Like, it's just kind of like cycling through different lights, okay? I don't know if there's secrets in these areas, guys. I'm just like going through them at this point. Oh, hello. Is this night day cycle, I guess? And our final stop, welcome to the hub. No more hand holding now, go right ahead. Next to the booth will be an instructions list. Complete that list and you will end the demo. Okay. All right, guys, well, I'm actually gonna save it there for this video because I think we're probably getting close to the end of the game. But because we have all that information to read through from the files we downloaded as well, I think that's going to be enough to make another video. Plus, there's probably some more stuff I can find to include. And at the moment, I've literally been recording for three hours to get to this point in the video. Now, most of that probably won't make it into the video. I, I died a lot of times. I had to spend a lot of times working out puzzles. But either way, it's going to be a long edit for me to compile this video. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Shipwrecked. We found the true horror of the game. It was pretty freaky. It was also quite frustrating, but um, very interesting game and uh, looking forward to seeing how it ends. With that said, hopefully you've been enjoying this series for Shipwreck 64 and if you have, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comments down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.